Hi and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can take better pictures with your iPhone. The first thing you want to do is to activate the grid in your settings. So you go into settings, then you scroll down until you see your camera settings. So you go into camera and after that you find under composition um, grid. You activate it and if you go to your camera you can see that there is a grid. And now you can use this grid to position your subject or to frame your shots according to the grid. So you see I can align uh, the sidewalk right here and now I click and you saw the shot I just created. I captured the two people walking um, exactly on one of the corners where the lines meet of the grid. So this is basically the rule of thirds and you want to use it to get a better composition. Uh, there are of course many other techniques to get a better composition, but this is a very easy one and you can activate it on your phone. Okay, the next thing is you want to activate live photo. By doing this, it will disable the raw feature, but you have the a possibility to choose another frame afterwards. So if I take a picture right now, I can now go into photos and open and click on edit and the live button and now I can select a different image and I can make it a key photo and click done and now this is my key photo so I have the possibility to uh, change the picture I took which is very uh, convenient but you won't have the raw possibility so you can't edit the pictures as good as if you only would take one picture. Okay, the next thing is you can tap on your screen to set the exposure and most of the time it's too bright so you want to tap on it and then swipe to decrease or increase the brightness of the picture. And then you can simply take a picture like this. The next thing you can do is to use panel mode to um, get better wide angle pictures because the wide angle lens isn't as good on many phones so you can use this technique by simply turning your phone this way and you hit the button and you swipe upwards and now you got a pretty good picture wide angle picture uh, with the uh, main lens of the camera which is by far the best lens so the, not the 52 millimeters, so the telephoto lens, the normal lens is the best uh, lens on your phone. The next thing you want to try is to find symmetry. So we're going to try to get a shot right here. And if you want to get a better shot, you want to get to the ground with your wide angle lens and flip it upside down like that. And then you align it with the grid and you take some pictures. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to use light to create shape because um, the difference between our eyes and the camera is that we see our world in 3D, but our camera captures the world in 2D, so you need light to create shapes. And the best um, scenario is if you um, photograph or take videos of your subject with the light behind them. So you don't want to uh, get hit, you, you don't want that your subjects get hit by the light directly. So you want the light in the back or on either one of their sides to create a very nice image. So what you're going to, to do is 
you want to zoom in and you want to have the light on the back of the people so you wait and you can also tap and decrease the brightness yeah and that way uh, you get a very nice picture okay another thing you want to try to do is to find foregrounds to get a more interesting shot so in this case we'll be using the fence right here uh, and frame the building in the back where the sun hits the building This way you get a more interesting shot.